Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Welcome back. We're playing this Grixis mid-range deck. It was either this or this Grixis control deck. I like the mid-range deck a little bit better because, well, we have a full set of Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, which is one of my favorite creatures. Uh, we also have two Nicol Bolas Dragon Gods and two Scarab Gods. Four gods right here up in this up in this piece. One Murderous Rider, one Hero's Downfall. Hero's Downfall, I don't know why we'd want it over Murderous Rider. There's no real synergies here except for flashing it back with Jace. Um, but that seems worse than just being able to... I guess you can't... You're not going to be able to get it back with Kolagon's uh, command. But if you flip it with Liliana, the last hope, you do... Or you, you can get a Murderous Rider back, which is pretty sweet. Uh, needs more Thief of Sanity. I agree. Thief of Sanity is one of my favorite creatures. Um, one Anger of the Gods, three Kolagon's commands. One Dig Through Time, which is probably just plenty. Four Jace Vryn's Prodigy, which might be too many. One of Raid, one Collective Brutality. The one ofs in here are pretty interesting. I don't understand them necessarily. I also, we have 11 creatures. I don't know if that's enough for Kolagons, for, for three Kolagons commands, but we'll see. Um, these are all one ofs. Two Drown in the Lock, four Thought Erasure, four, four Jaces, three Fatal Push, and four Thought Seize. Uh, I think people are starting to realize Fatal Push is not as good in this format because you just don't have fetch lands to, to just to trigger the Revolt aspect. Uh, sideboard is one Disdainful, two Mystical Dispute, two Duress, one, one more Collective, one Noxious Grasp, one Witch's Vengeance, one Karanos, one Anger, one Kalidus, two Languish, and two Graph Digger's Cage. Um, but the way the one ofs are, it makes me almost think that there's like a Wish sideboard, but there is not. So I don't know. I guess we're just gonna, we're gonna roll out and see how this deck does. Now we're playing against Dangerous James, number two. Fabled Passage is good for push, but it's still no fetch land. This hand is also no bueno. This hand's bueno. Muy bueno, you might say. I will keep it, and we're going to ship probably the mountain. Oh, we both went to six. Good job. Kessig Prowler. Fascinating. Sir Farron. Sir Farron. Steel Leaf Champion. Steel Leaf Champion. No further lands. Hmm. Well... I'm going to get rid of Steel Leaf Champion. I mean, the Seferans are legendary anyway. You can only play one. That's pretty good. Come on, something that kills these guys. Okay, that that's not it. Okay, no land, no land, no land, no land, no land. I think we did it. I think we dodged, dodged bullets. See, I kind of want to kill the Pelt Collector first. Uh, reason being that if they draw if they draw land, then Pelt Collector becomes a 2-2. Two -two, uh, which means we can't kill it. Whereas if they draw land now, they go, oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on, seriously? Now they're going to hit a land. Ready? Boom. Hmm. No boom? Oh, you're just going to pump it anyway. Okay. Wow. Never gets any easier, guys. Never gets any easier. She could never see where she came from. All right, let's see if you got another pump spell, huh? Discard, shoot. One, two, three. Well, that would have been great. Just kill them all. You got rid of Acer Farron. So now I know of these two cards. Now no Sir Farron's. Okay. All 
I say yikes for me, dog. Okay, so let's draw non-land cards. That would be great. I guess we get to take their Steel Leaf Champion. Aspect of... That's not what I wanted to do. Wow, I was trying to read the card, and I guess we... Uh... Wow, that's no good. I mean, I guess this is two more damage, so they could have dealt three next turn, but that's still not scary. Land into Steel Leaf Champion, now that's scary. Are you serious? Eight lands? Come on. Like, we only have 11 creatures. We have four Jace, four Nicobolus, and two Scarab Gods. Like, the odds of hitting any of them off of this Liliana is just not high. Meanwhile, this is four, five damage, so we go to one next turn. Because they eat two things, and then they... Yeah, all right, so we're just done here. Wow. Yep, that's pretty amazing. Okay, we're definitely aggressively boarding against this deck. Um, thought erasures, don't care about. Cut the thought seizes, too. Just bring in a bunch of removal. Uh, Kalidus seems good. I guess that's fine. Hmm. I kind of just want to get a Swamp here. Because then we still have double black. And it lets us play uh, Thoughtseize and Fatal Push next turn. And it still sets us up for Anger of the Gods. So. These are good lands. Show me what you got. Yorvo. Uh, I think we're going to take Yorvo because we can actually just kill the Surferon or Steel Leaf Champion. Yikes. They're both pretty good. Thank you! Yesterday, don't. Hammer Time, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. No, Yorvo got him. Oh, experiment one. So, which forest did we play? It looks like this one. Okay. I want to do this now because they're going to counter anyway, so... Gets the Blossoming Defense out of their hand, or they just don't have Experiment 1 on board. Either one is pretty okay. How do you like Pioneer compared to Modern? I like it a lot. I think it's really good. Um, I think it has a lot of uh, qualities that are unmodern-like. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
So this one's gone. Another Yorvo? Jeez, Yorvo. Tasted Yorvo. Okay. This is where they go uh, attack for three, aspect of the Hydra, attack for three more, and then kill it. Barky. Old Barky boy. Uh, I don't see why they wouldn't police it the same amount as modern or standard. Like, there's no reason not to. It, I don't think it takes that much more effort to do so. Oh yeah, all right, sure. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna try to go for the kill here, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a okay with that. Oh wow, oh that's pretty, that's pretty beautiful. So we can just languish here. Yeah, it seems okay. I mean, that's fine. This guy still dies. This guy gets, like, nothing, actually. So, yeah, all right, that's fine. Neg you. Neg you. And then we just get to hold on to fail push. That guy's a 1-3? <laughs> sure. Oh, boy. Well, that's pretty good. Just get to kill Liliana here. If you if you so choose. I think your last card is a Surferon. Yep, that seems fine. Yesterday, no, no. This is actually kind of funny because now we get to go. I don't think we're going to noxious grasp this guy when we have Jace Telepath Unbound, so. Okay. Well, yikes. So in order to keep this Jace going, 
We could actually uh, Noxious Grasp, and if they want to remove the counter, then they have an O2. Sammy, what's going on, my dude? Um, this actually seems fine. Oh, they just don't want to even try to regenerate it. Or give it hexproof, rather. What does it do? Mill five? Whenever you cast a spell? Okay. No, don't like that. Well, that's gonna go. We're gonna go to the next game here, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Okay. Nine point three gigabytes. Good lord, Sammy. Whoa. Uh, definitely feel like this hand is a keeper. Also, we have all three of the check lands, and they all come into play tapped with this blood crypt, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a dude. Did I say tapped? I meant untapped, clearly. Why would I say tapped? What an absolute dummy. Oh, they didn't do anything? Well, they're just dead. I like it. Scarab God coming down? Oh boy. Oh, you're gonna name Liliana? That's the rudest shit you could do. However, still a one for one. Let's just pass. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. How does this deck beat a scarab god? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it does.
we're killing that guy because we don't want them to exile creatures from the graveyard. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's going to be the end. Um, you know what? Let's get Barkhide Troll. I don't feel like we're in a position where we need that, so... I also don't feel like attacking with the Skyrim God here. Actually, maybe I should have kept that Languish. Just kills them all. Two, three, four. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. Just taking it, huh? All right, gonna pass. Yeah, Cake Man can destroy Needle. Oh, look at that little guy. What's this guy do? Uh, we got a blue, 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 red, 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 black, 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 black. I guess we'll get another red. So then we can go one, two, three. No. Uh, three. Heroes downfall, this guy. So you can blossoming sands. Sure. That's fine. Uh, bottom, and this is fine. And we'll pass. Hmm. 
I think this game had just ended. All right, all right. So, are we one up? What did we lose to? Did we lose the first round? I feel like we did, right? Game history. No, that was our first round. Yeah, we lost game one to an incredible amount of flood. Yeah, I'll keep it. I feel like we just want to get a swamp here. I think that's okay. Oh, that is a good looking watery grave. Oh, that's sad. And we're definitely going to have something to play on turn two, so that's pretty cool, unless they take Nicol Bolas. Can you imagine? Can you imagine they take Nicol Bolas? They did not. Oh, mismatching watery graves. Take the other Jace, fatal push this Jace. It's a long Jace. I said so long, Jace. Oh, you're just gonna strip my entire hand, but then I get to flip Jace? That's interesting. Narset and cast down. Narset it is. Uh, keep you on top, even though we don't have a second land. I think you're good enough. So you have just cast down and irrigated farmland in hand. Well, one of those is actually a blank. Like, all of our creatures are legendary. We have four Nicobolus, four Jace, two Scarab God, and something else, maybe? I think we have 11 creatures. What's the other creature? Uh, Murderous Rider. I guess you can hit that guy. Hold on, let me close out these other matches from ages ago. Okay, I think we're good. Oath of Kaya. Uh, choosing her screen less than equal on our cards and control of graveyard. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to this because we get to keep Jace alive, and we also get to keep up drawing the lock to kill a creature later in the game. Uh, or we can just dig through time right now. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take... How about Scarab God and Blood Crypt? That seems good, right? So next time we can Nicol Bolas. We know they have Cast Down in hand. Pretty easy discard, unfortunately. All right, that's fine. Could also just play Scarab God. I think I just want Nicol Bolas here, though. Oh, 
Like Scarecrow doesn't actually have any any targets here. Yep. Figure that cast down and hit the bin. Here comes a Teferi. Narset number two. Okay. Well, we can just kill that. Supreme Verdict. Biscuits. Well, we have no incentive to play Scarab God into Supreme Verdict. Yep. Oh, I like that. One, two, three. If we hit one more land, we can Kolagon's Command get back Nicobolus and cast it in the same turn. That seems good. Another Supreme Verdict. Seems good. One thing we could do is during their draw step, we can get back Nicol Bolas and make them discard. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Seems good. Fatal pushes can go. Collective Brutality can join the fray. Disdainful Stroke. Mystical Dispute seems good. I assume. Anger can go. A Braid can go. Probably want to bring in Stroke. Karanos seems nuts. Mm, Duress also seems good. Is there any other removal spells that we just don't think are great here? Not really. Everything else seems good. Do we need like 10 discard spells? Maybe not. Disdainful Stroke, what are you countering? That seems fine. Well, not, not keeping the one lander. I will keep this, however. Ship a swamp. discard our thought erasure oh no you did not Esper's cool and all but you don't get to play Nicol Bolas if you play Esper so that seems kind of weird that's a weird choice oh let's do that instead Teferi 3 Narset well those are both obnoxious D-Spark these are all obnoxious these are all really obnoxious cards They have no third land, though. That's interesting. I guess they're going to hit one, though. Wow. Which one do I care more about? Probably the Narset, to be quite honest. I mean, reason being, Narset's always going to uh, hit a second. 
It's always going to hit them a second card and a third card. Teferi is not. Ugh. I mean, we should have let them keep the Narset and they couldn't cast the Teferi, so. Oh, they don't actually. Interesting. Okay, so Teferi's gone. We know they have three cards in hand. I just want to take the D Spark actually, because neither of these are really threatening. Um, you can go on the graveyard, and then next turn we can play Nicobolus. They have to discard one of these two. Interesting. Blue, blue. I'm going to get another island here because we do have dig. Oh, you're just going to counter it because you drew a counter spell. Wow, that's fantastic. Congratulations. They need a second white or a second blue here. Thought or issue. Wow. Just take Dig Through Time? Colgon's coming. Okay, I was like, wow, Dig Through Time seems really good because it only costs two here. So. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Leaving this guy in case we hit something cool. Thought erasure is exactly what we wanted. So is Hero's Downfall. That seems good. Any order. Blue and black. Erasure ya. Get rid of Jace, because you can't play the other one. I'll keep you on top for sure. The highest 32? Good lord. Buddy, right now? Let me tell you what time. Well, what's the temperature here right now? It is currently 79 degrees. It is 79, my dudes. Golden years. I hate you right now. <laughs> Don't be a hater. Or do be a hater. It's up to you, my dude. Well, that sucks. Wow, and you have exactly enough mana to cast it. That's amazing. Oh, you're just going to cast it during my up, my draw step. That's even better, my dude. Well, if you get rid of Murderous Rider, I can still play Scarab God. If you get rid of Scarab God, I can still Murderous Rider your Teferi. Well, as Kanta's a real pain in the ass, but. Sure. Three mana gives you an exactly another white source good lord I don't understand it okie dokie artichokey
They did nothing. Two, three, four, five. That actually seems freaking great. One, two, three, four, five. Nicholas Brolis. And of course you have two cards in hand, so I wouldn't one of them be a counter spell. Disallow, I can counter it, but then you just pay the mana, so fuck me, I guess. Okay. Disdainful Stroke definitely seems better now that we've seen those other creatures. Lilian actually seems pretty rough, surprisingly. Bring in the other Thoughtseize. Actually, Noxious Grass might be better than something. It kills Gideon, it kills Teferi, it kills... I wonder if there's other ones. Yeah, alright. I'm game. Excuse me. Or don't. Yep, see you later, Thought Erasure. Had a good run. <laughs> Never didn't have it. Uh, Teferi, Dovin's Veto, or Th Thoughtseize. Hmm. So you're going to Thoughtseize and take this. You're going to counter my first spell. I think we just can take the Thoughtseize. At least we get to cast Nicol Bolas. And then if they bounce it, we just get to cast it again. So, I mean, it's kind of okay. Yep, you're gone. You're gone. Bounce that guy. Sounds good. They got rid of the Dovin's Veto? That's interesting. Okay. Yep, that's annoying. Jace Brin's Prodigy. Let's play this so you can crack it like an egg. We have four blue sources, four black sources, three red sources. I think just swamp is fine. Collective brutality seems good. Can we get a duress? Okay, okay. Oh, this is a different Gideon. This is the good Gideon. Yeah, let's get rid of that asshole. Uh, one, two, collective brutality. Reveal your stupid hand. Sure. 
sure. I think we're dead. Which sucks. Yep, that's what I thought you'd do. Okay. Elixir, wow. Sure. Nickel bolus, one time. Shit mountain. Seems good. Okay. Jace. Negative two Jace. Plus Jace. That's interesting. And not at all what I would have expected. It's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, all four of the spells in my graveyard. Cast Collective Brutality just to gain two. I don't think that's great. I guess we're just plussing here. Play land. Beans and cornbread. Goodbye, Graveyard. Goodbye, Nickel Bolas. Goodbye, Murderous Rider and Dig Through Time. Goodbye, any cards in any graveyards whatsoever. Goodbye, Shitty Blood Crypt that does nothing. <sighs> I guess I don't want to do that. These Planeswalkers are obnoxious. I feel like these decks, like every deck we've played just doesn't have enough answers for Planeswalkers. Or lands, I guess. Yeah, you can have the one hero's downfall. Oh, they took two lands? That's interesting. Oh, Karanos and, and Nicobolus. Seems good. I, or we're just going to draw a watery grave here. Oh, a thought erasure. That's basically the same thing. Dovin's Veto. Guess we'll use a black. <laughs> Get rid of that shit. You. Uh, let's put you in the graveyard because then we just get to get you back. Sure. 
I guess we'll discard a Kolagon's command. They're going to discard their planes, and we're going to get back Nicol Bolas. So they have to discard whatever they just drew. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Oh, that's what we were hoping it was. That's hilarious. Man, they could have actually Supreme Verdict then Ashiok us. That's hilarious. Well then, no cards in hand. Uh, Zombie Bolas cannot transform because you exile him and it's a token, so you're not going to be able to exile the token. And then return it to the battlefield. Sure. Yeah, okay. Scrying one is nice. Bottom. Uh, let's just hit the Jace, I think. I really want to start just, like, dealing with these guys. frustrating I'll hit a supreme verdict thought erasure it's actually fine when you have no cards in hand Sure. I'll put that on top. Let's get rid of Narset. Oh, that was so dumb. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Oh, man. That's terrible. Oh, God. Whatever. They get one more activation from Ashiok. If they find a way to get rid of this Scarab God, it's terrible. Because then we die. So I bet they just found one right now. And then they just kill us with Gideon. And we've worked so hard. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Oh, God. For some reason, I was under the impression I had a card in hand. Like, I don't know why I didn't get to draw a card this turn. What was the reason? Like, we draw a card, then discard a card. Yeah, they're going to despark this, and then they're going to just get in. Oh, they put two cards on the bottom, actually, so maybe not. Okay, so that guy's gone. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, put that on top. That's fine. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four.
Oh, I forgot to up Jace again. God, I keep forgetting that because there's no like, there's no relevant reason to do it. That's really good. Frustrating. I feel like mistakes were made. If we just drew that Nicol Bolas naturally, we'd be in such better shape. We could have killed this. <sighs> yeah, you can just go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, oh God. Just like, absolutely. Just please never, just, just, just never. I keep feeling like these decks just don't have enough pressure. Like, I don't think I want three Coligons command because we're just not getting that many creatures back. I also don't feel like you want eight Thought Erasure slash Thought Seizes in the main deck. I think the mana base was pretty good. I feel like we do kind of want more card advantage. Like, we just didn't have a ways to draw cards. Like, Jace is just a looter. I almost like a search for Azkanta. That's... Of all the words I can choose, I go with Azkanta. I go to search instead of Azkanta. Um... What's another like sweet wind condition? I feel like Elder Spell actually might be good. Right. I I am not a I actually don't like collective brutality that much. Locust God. <laughs> oh lord. I want to see if I can get some ideas from these other decks. Um, what about Notion Thief? That seems interesting. What about Thief of Sanity? Oh man, let's what do we what do we why don't we try the Thief of Sanity? Check out one Coligon's command. Take out the anger, take out the collective brutality. What do you mean Notion Thief doesn't hold much value in your deck? What does that mean? I cut one Jace, I think. Four Thief of Sanity? That seems good.
what's Notion Thief going to do? I mean, like, you're not comboing with it. You're just, like, there's so much card advantage in this format where people are like, I'll play Infinite Planeswalkers. And you're like, oh, all right, well, if that's what you want to do. Let's keep and let's get rid of a fatal push. <sighs> God, I'm like so triggered whenever I see a glacial fortress. Supreme Verdict Quicken Disallow Treasure Cruise. Disallow, for sure. Um, yeah, put that on top. <laughs> so we get to untap, play Liliana, and they really have nothing to do about it for, like, the foreseeable future. That's pretty cool. Port town in the middle of our street, port town. <laughs> What's happening right now? Wow, cyclonic rift to Liliana? Jeez. What in the earth, man? Hit new review let. I know three of the four cards in your hand. You're gonna Supreme Verdict this Jace away? Gideon's Intervention? Are you name Liliana? What is even happening right now? Cyclonic Rift? Gideon's Intervention? Whew. Well, that's an easy discard now, right? Yeah. Um well. Put that in the garbage can. I wish wish we drew a land, but you know. Magic's a hard game. Detection tower. What do we have to pay to get commands back? This is a good question. Tano said he was working on it. I have no idea. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. These are the days. I want to take this treasure cruise. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, how do I deal with the approach of the second sun? One, two, three, four, five. But then they just go, Jesus, this is brutal. I want to take treasure cruise. <laughs> they still need two more lands to hit an approach treasure cruise they just draw three cards they can just hit another approach you know field of ruin so like that give me a land or a discard spell. What? This is a weird choice. Okay. Let's get an island. So we need to have quick and approach still, sure. Oh. Is that good? Not yet. Quicken, sure. 
This is hilarious because they have six cards in their graveyard. They need one more card in their graveyard and we can drown the lock the approach, but yep, they're just going to hard cast it. Because that's how you do it. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, sun. I mean, it's still, they still have, they still have a lot of turns, so. Can we get some lands here? No, no we can't. We can just get cards that are absolutely unplayable for us. Fantastic. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are too. Six. <sighs> I'll get a treasure cruise, which makes Drown in the Lock much, much worse. Land. Nope, still nothing, huh? Okay. Seems great. Just great. Gain two, draw a card, go down to five. Sure. Twenty seven life, huh? Joke's on you, buddy. Hey, would you look at that? It's another land. Heck yeah. So we are at four. You ever going to commentate at events anymore? If anyone invites me, I will 100% commentate at an event. Any tournament play in your future? None that I can see. Those are my feelings on those things. Well, sad times, guys. Sad times at Ridgemont High. Cycle a sensor. Pretty sure they're just going to do it right now. And then we're going to try to do this. And I'm sure they're going to have something that's going to not let us do this. Yeah, never don't have it, do you? Oh, God. These matches have been really exhausting. This format just feels like all the cards that you hate in Standard. I'm liking it, but I'm really, like, also kind of iffy about it. I'll take the Abrade out. Let's take the... I'll take the Fatal Pushes out. Those are terrible. Karanos, again, seems great. Elders. I, the thing I don't like about Elder Spells is we have two Planeswalkers in our deck. So, like, unless you have Nicol Bolas, you're not getting that value off of it, but... Maybe I should play a Questing Beast deck. That guy's great. Just great. Don't be like Mike about that. That's a good point. That's fair. Fair. You know what? I'm going to keep it. Any land in this hand is great. Mono two drops. Let's not. Well, it's worse now.
Yep, that's that is a good one. Against our On the bright side, we can discard these now. So they're not totally dead. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sure. So, 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 sunny D. I am afraid of supreme verdict, but I don't think I'm gonna. I, you know what? I'm not. Af I ain't afraid of no. I ain't afraid of no verdict. Why would they keep verdict in? They saw like no creatures, right? Maybe. Let's get mountain, I guess. Oh man, we get to, we get to connect. Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a Oh, also Thief of Sanity is great with drown in the lock too, cuz you put the cards in the graveyard. Oh boy. Murderous Rider, huh? Hmm. But there's a heart of rock and roll is still beating. I'm probably going to play this. It's nice, some, some nice diverse. I wish, I wish we drew a land here. So we can get the murderous rider back. We can counter this. Are they choosing their cryptic command modes right now? No. We can also just get the murderous rider back. It's like nothing happened. It's beautiful. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Seems good. All right. Well, now I'm bringing Mystical Dispute in over, like, one Thought Erasure, one Thought Seize, because they're just going to have Leyline nonsense that I'd rather diversify a little bit and have a little more. A little fewer cards that could just get stuck in my hand. I will keep. Come on, blue mana. Okay, well, we can just roll. We can just roll on the infinite uh, 
Infinite discard and you got no ley lines, my dude. Rest in peace. Does that do anything? You're gonna you're gonna run it out there next turn. And I have no answer for it, so I'm actually probably gonna take that. Cause that feels good against us. Yeah, cause we have a drown in the lock in hand, so that's just actually it negates at least one card in our hand, unfortunately. Good to know. Now you have Dovin's Veto. No, you don't. You have Dovin Bon. The name is Bon. Dovin Bon. I don't care about Cyclonic Rift. The cards I care about here are uh, Dovin Bon. And like Sphinx's Revelation. That seems fine. They're just going to Cyclonic or uh, Supreme Will here. Fascinating. We do need a blue mana here. <laughs> I found one. It's a little it's a little too slow though. Okay, but I don't think they really have anything going on here, so oh wow, that's great though. Now we're talking. So we can go blue, black, black, play thiefy boy. Cinco paid for three. We know you have Cyclonic Rift. I'm actually not sure whether to counter this or whether to just like. I do like countering it because, like, if we do exile this, like, then we can't get it back with Kolagon's command. But now it's just they have to kill it twice because we have Kolagon's command. So. Do we just get to connect? That seems crazy. There's no way we just get to slam this guy in there and, and have no consequences. I mean, they're probably just going to bounce it with Rift, right? Sure. Thief. I don't play Search over Jace because if they do have, like, some sort of board wipe, I don't really want to get my... Okay, sure. That's fine. Supreme Verdict? That would be real fascinating. Wow. Give me a land. Murderous Rider. I know that's gone. Oh, 
Uh, return a creature from your graveyard, turn a discard a card. Uh, red, black. Let's see if you want to counter this. Yeah, of course you do. Single paid for one. That is fine. Nickel Bolas. Uh, one, two. All right, seems good. I think we're winning this game. Supreme Verdict number two. Jace. Oh, we're connecting, my dude. You can just have this one. I imagine you're taking two lands here because you're not a maniac. That's what I felt like. See a field in hand? Uh, pop that out. Well, they did not actually take the Teferi, so we can actually attack their face and murderous rider their... Attack their face and rider their Jace. Yeah, that's the question. What do we intervention here? I'm just going to play my land. Interesting. Uh, what do they get rid of? Drowned? Yeah, we're gonna get the island. Basic land island. That was it, huh? Disallow. Oh, yes. Oh, that's spicy. Yeah, we're just going to keep Jace, uh, keep Jace alive. We have a disallow. That's pretty sweet. If 
Field of Ruin number two. Get rid of Sulphur Falls. Fascinating. Uh, Mountain is just strictly better than a swamp here because of Urborg, so. Blink of an eye. Oh, we're doing very well here. I guess we just play Jace here, right? <sighs> and we're at a point where we should probably just name Supreme Verdict. Interesting, you have no other colorless mana. <laughs> Guess it's just Dislaw number two. And I'm pretty sure we can't lose at that point. So we're going to go cast Dress. If new rivulet. Flip this Jace, discard you. One, two, three. Keep this one and plus him. Yeah, all right. That should be game. Uh, I mean, we can take the approach to be cute, but, like, this allows definitely the correct choice. Like, now they just... There's no way they can get through two counter spells is the thing. Does that do anything? Not really. Also, if we take the approach, it, it goes back into their deck, not ours, obviously, so... Does not matter. Yeah, and like, I mean, I think I'm just keeping two counter spells up. If they draw Supreme Verdict, we can't counter it anyway, so it's like there's no point of putting all of our threats on the board. Is just approach, yeah. Nah, my dude. One, two, three. Got him. GGS. On that note, we're getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon.com/slash Frank Lepore. I say it every time. One to two dollars a month. It won't break the bank, and it's a great way to support the channel. This deck was kind of sweet. I kind of like the Fasanity a lot. I think it's a great uh, addition along with Drown in the Lock. And maybe you just want to go deeper on the Drown in the Lock synergy. I think maybe with Jaces and Searches and Thief of Sanity, like you actually have a pretty sweet shell for Drown in the Lock, but who knows? We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch dot tv slash frank lapore patreon.com slash frank lapore cool stuff inc.com and manatraders.com you can find a link and a promo code in the description below to get 20 percent off your first three months of any subscription so be sure to check them out they have a great subscription service and uh i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching love you guys